Ready Fa with me, Dienda. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, which is the same look which I wear in my previous video, what's in my back video, if you guys already watched it. Basically, I recreate that look, but there are some stuff that I changed in this tutorial, but it still gives you the similar look to the one that I wear in my previous video, if that makes sense. This look is super fun to create because I use some Tosca, turquoise, aquamarine, and greenish blue color kind of thing to create this fun makeup look. So if you guys want to know how to achieve this look, then let's jump straight to the tutorial. Starting up with bare moisturized face, and as usual, I've already drawn my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm going to put on is some primer by Revlon. The one that I'm using is the Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. It works really well to smoothen out your skin and to fill in pores and of course to make your makeup stay longer. And I just apply this on my T-zone and I'm blending it with my finger. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is the old packaging. They've already released the new packaging one. So I'm just dotting this foundation all over my face and then I'm blending it with my Dab Beauty Blender as usual. Next, I'm taking this Camouflage Cream Corrector Palette by Makeover. I'm taking this orangey reddish color and I just apply it using my finger on my under eye. It works as a corrector to your dark circles before you apply the brightening concealer one. And the concealer I'm gonna be using is this too, which is the L'Oreal True Match and the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So the first one, I'm taking this L'Oreal True Match concealer and I just apply it all over the areas that I like to conceal and highlight. Which is my under eye, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, and also on my chin. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Classic Ivory to really brighten up those areas and of course to highlight too because this has a brighter color than the L'Oreal True Match one. And I just apply it and then I'm blending it all with my damn beauty blender, of course. I really love how this concealer combination works super well on my skin, it really makes my skin look flawless, it really brightens up those areas that I love and it's just so perfect, I really love them. Moving on to the eyes, of course I'm gonna be applying an eyeshadow primer first, the one that I'm using is from Elianto. It has a matte finish so you don't have to set it again with another powder product and I'm just applying it using my finger. For the transition color, I'm going to be taking this taupey color from the Nudes by Maybelline and I'm just applying it on my crease and blend it well. Then for the lip color, I'm taking this Very Me eyeshadow by Oriflame and I'm taking the lightest color one to apply on the inner part of my eyelid. And then for the center to the outer part, I'm taking the blue color one and applying it on a flat shader brush. And then to really deepen up the look, I'm taking this gray color in the Nudes palette by Maybelline again. And then I'm just applying it using a precise blending brush and apply that on the outer view of my eye, I think. And then I'm just blending it to the crease also so there are no harsh lines. Then I'm just mixing this too light and shimmery color and applying it as a brow bone highlight. And then for eyeliner, I'm taking my trusty Hyper Sharp Liner by Maybelline and I'm just creating a simple winged eyeliner I guess and yeah, there you go. <laughs> Right here you can see me struggling on putting my falsies and then after I put them on I just 
uh, apply my The False Use Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline to blend my real eyelashes to the falsies. And then right here I'm just highlighting the inner tear duct of my eye using the same color that I used to highlight my brow bone. Moving back to the face, I'm gonna set my face using the translucent powder from Revlon. And then I just apply it on the areas I've already concealed and highlighted and just everywhere. And then after that, I'm just gonna contour and also bronze my face using this two darkest shades from the City Color Contour Effects. And I'm just applying it on the areas that I love to contour and bronze, which is on the hollows of my cheekbones and then on my jawline. And I also apply it on my forehead. Then I just contour my nose slightly, nothing too fancy, and then I'm taking the lightest color to put on the bridge of my nose and I also apply it around my lips to make it a little more stand out. And then to finish up the eye makeup, I'm taking this Max Factor Coal Pencil in white and then I'm just applying it on the lower waterline. Then I'm taking the transition color again and I've just applied it on my bottom lash line to balance up the eye makeup a little bit. And then after that I'm just taking the mascara and apply it on my bottom lashes. Blush, I'm using the Cheeky Glow by Maybelline. I just apply it on the apples of my cheeks and then I also bring it upward. Using my old, old favorite highlighter from Benefit, which is the High Beam one, I just apply it on the areas that I love to highlight, which is the highest point of my cheekbones. I just dot it all over and then blending it using my finger. And I also apply it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and also on my chin too. And then lastly for the lips, I'm using this Revlon lipstick in the shade Blushing Nudes which is a really beautiful and subtle color. And the makeup is finally done! like this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to makeup by diva so you can get more updates and more tutorials and more beauty related videos from us and you can also comment down below if you have any requests or question or suggestions or just some stuff that you want to say to us i hope this tutorial can be useful for you guys and can give you guys some inspiration i'll see you guys in the next video bye